We'll do that after. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. student would help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Uh, I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Why would you... Sure, gobstones. we'll be friends with her. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. You're gonna hate when I beat you. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Is that anyway, a collectible I have to find for her? I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone... Perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. All right. Rebellion. This is how we go down a rabbit hole, isn't it? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, is it the targets on the map? That is the targets, isn't it? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yep, totally meant to do that. What's that? Oh, so this is... What's her face's mom? Oh! Alright. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Just be on my way. Is there a quicker way down? Can I jump? No. Right. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ah. Accio. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I've always said that. All right, we'll get all of our gobs. We'll be nice.
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gold. <laughs> Yep, I totally knew what I was doing. Reperio. I bet that's what he's... You're gonna teach me how to repair that, aren't you? Alright, we're going. I care about gobstones, but I guess I do. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio. Things I do for that little twerp, huh? an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let me know, sir. Oh, it's dope. I like that. I guess this is, that's helpful, I guess. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Mm -hmm. Rebellion! Levioso! Rebellion! Control armor. This unusual suit of armor is crafted for a troll. That it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor. I would understandably be prone to smashing it <laughs> in confusion or anger. Cool. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh, oh that lady. What's up? Rebellion. Oh, Jesus. This room contains the house cups. Go to this trophies, dealing trophies, and other awards given to the school. Students who step out of line can be found flashing this over here. Oh boy, there's a lot in here, huh? the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. No? Revelio. Is that, is that gonna help? 
Offense level 3. Go see her. Alright. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. Common sense and basic... Well... <clears throat> of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Wonderful idea. Run it back. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. All right, now what do I get? I got a wand handle? All right, let's go talk to the old man. Ah, there you are. This fountain is the Transfiguration Courtyard, has a likeliness of a wyvern on top, and serves as a relaxing place for students together. Despite rumors to the contrary, possible started, possibly started by Sir Catagon, this is most assuredly not meant to be the wy wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Alright, well, let's... You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. Thank you. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then... Re I'll do it. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Something up. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Trust the preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic.
easy. Go. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the Repair. wall. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Rebellion. Hell yeah. Let's look at the map. What do we got? What is that? Welcome to Hogsmeade. Alright, let's go to Hogsmeade, and then uh, that'll be it for this one. I don't have a wand. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, let's go to Hogsmeade and let's get out of here. Okay, maybe I should have filed. Yep, yeah, alright. I used it. Oh, it just looks cool. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If All I right. have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. Me too. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating. Revelio Street. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. I don't... It's by stairs. It's down here in the corner? Oh, I suppose I should just follow my map, huh? This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about? Statue of Gregory the Smart, Smart Me. The statue with an ingrating. The statue with an ingratiating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smart The Smart Me. The wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Oh, that's. Oh, 
Off on another adventure, That's are we? Awful. Revelio. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Interesting. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, it's just got. Did it! Stupid. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <clears throat> I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. Oh, I'm sure you, you were. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Yep, you're welcome. Now give me my experience. I should have seen that. Yeah. Oh, Alright. <sighs> Anyone in the wizarding world. Oh. Okay, it's just a chest. No! This game, I can see how you just get enveloped within it. Revelio. Reparo. Rebellion. All right. It's an angel keeper sent an owl back home. That's it. That's gotta be something, right? Yeah, 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 give me that page. The broken broom belonged to Selene Wartnubby, and is rumored to be all that remains as she, after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. All right, what about over here? Yeah. All right, let's go to Hogsmeade. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. All right, let's go to Hogsmeat. Let's get ourselves a wand. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. Rebellion. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air oh, after wow. being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe that's you. insane. Though I you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Let's just let's just take a moment, right? That's incredible.
Hogsmeade is that's incredible this time of year everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors yeah sneeze <laughs> not much for the cold are you hey <coughs> I do not uh, excuse me so much sorry but it has taken some getting used to I did not grow up around snow oh wait over here I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Alright. Weird. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look! From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that Hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. How's that? Do you think Poppy's already seen the Hippogriffs? Absolutely. There's Why one of each. Oh, look at that. Being friends. That's the Forbidden oh. Forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name implies. So Why is it off limits? If I go into it. The professors claim it is too dangerous. Oh! I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Sorry. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about <laughs> mm. <laughs> I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, God, look much at can that. be gleaned outside of the castle walls. It's phenomenal. That's awesome. Good job. Whoever made this game, good job. you settling in i remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange uh Everything it's my so first day new and unfamiliar i'm getting used to things what about you do you finally feel settled i still miss my homeland but it is beautiful here too don't mind me just and getting out of the castle and exploring everything. helped me to adjust quite a bit hogwarts has become something of a home now i would say hopefully it will for you too Revelio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, uh, that's a Hufflepuff. Can't do that. Mr. Moon, he is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. This place is magic. How much caretaking could we possibly need? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jelly guys. Dougly and Aryan. Mm, terrifying. I right, shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Have you <laughs> oh, Mr. Moon. A Demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Accio. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just hugs meat. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butterbeer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honeydukes. 
I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. You got it. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Oh, like uh, bringing with different side shops now. Uh, just... Oh shit. You can check any of these chests. Holy shit. God. All right. What the kitty? Good cat. Good kitty. So, oh, I gotta visit all these? Cardinals and cauldrons. No, nope. there's the tombs and scrolls. Yep, I gotta go here. An inquiring mind. What's this? Give me it. Rebellion. Ah, I'll be right back. Rebellion. Right. Yep, sorry about that, you know, just had to go do some stuff. Don't mind me. What's up? How's it going? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. Nice to meet I you. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. Uh, I'm afraid I'm happy yet, No. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. You got it. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Let's a potting it. table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Those are mine. Well, I got my stuff here, right? Revelio. Akio. Let's 
I saw a box upstairs, let me see. You don't mind me just rifling through your stuff, right? Or stealing your gold? Rebellion. Good deal. Is that right outside? Just because you know Zuma. Oh, sorry. Can I? Prepare. No. Okay. Uh, the salivanders. Oh. Is that salivanders? Hello. Rebellion. Oh, what's that? Okay, it's mine now, I guess. Accio. Rebellion. Lumos. Let me also. Lumos. Accio. Let me also. Rebellion. Trying to keep all this shit straight. Now where? Lumos. Yeah, follow me. Killing it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Where is Oliver's? Go there. All right. But after we get our wand, we gotta end the episode. Sorry, kid. Rebellion. Alright. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. It's a lot of wands. Uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. <laughs> How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. I don't think that's my wand. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, 
Hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, I get to change it. How intriguing. Curious indeed. I don't know. All right, well, let's just find out. How another. intriguing. Does any of this actually matter? Curious indeed. I wonder. Alright, before I made any decisions, I just wanted to make sure that none of this actually mattered, and it's just up to own preference. So, I like... Let's see... Do they have walnut? Do they have black walnut? How intriguing! No. I always go big. And then let's do rigid. Curious indeed. Uh, a hair unicorn that serves as a core of the wand, knowing for producing consistent magic. Dragon heart string that serves as the core of the wand, known for producing powerful magic. Consistent, great range, powerful. A dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. How intriguing. Indeed, I like that. Fuck it, let's go with that one. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. Awesome. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just oh. as you learn from it. Easy to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. You got it, Ollivander. All right, guys, awesome. We just got our own wand. Uh, we are gonna end it here, though, because we're running a little bit long. So, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you, guys. See you later.